Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. Welcome one and all to this newest edition of the Running On Empty Food Review series. I'm your host, the Report of the Week, and uh, here we are today on a very bright, um, well, fairly sunny anyway, and a very hot afternoon, uh, near 100 degrees today. And I am doing what may very possibly be the most high-stress, high-pressure review I have ever done on this YouTube channel. Now, the reason why is because I am facing a multifaceted, ongoing battle against both nature and machine. Um, because there's been some construction work going on, and I've been trying to time everything out to try to avoid the noise there, you know, so you could have an optimal experience. And then secondly, I've been trying to get the lighting just right, and you know, that's always changing. So, I think I finally got things just right. Fingers crossed anyways, and um, maybe that's just suitable for a very high pressure item like this as well. Because what do we have today? Now this isn't the brand new, I mean this isn't what I'm trying to say, this wasn't something that's been released yesterday came out a couple weeks ago, but I have been getting some requests to uh, try it out, so I'll certainly be giving this a shot. I thought, ah, oh, why not? A lot of places are reviewing, um, reviewing, look at that, that, all the stress and pressure is getting to me. A lot of places are releasing different pizzas, and I thought, well, I'm probably going to be reviewing a lot of pizzas lately, and um, may as well just add something different to break the monotony. So I'm going to be trying out the Loaded Taco Fries Burrito from Taco Bell, so I'll be trying that in a moment. Uh, one other thing that I have been getting a lot of requests for is uh, people were wondering how exactly can I support the channel? How can I support what you do? Do you have anything? Um, maybe you offer exclusive content or something. No, not of that nature. Um, but indeed that I indeed I do. Um, you can always support this channel, my podcast, and my radio show at patreon.com slash the report of the week. And you can access exclusive content, including radio shows and special podcasts and all that stuff of a family-friendly nature. So if you are interested in that, you could find a link to that in the description and pinned comment. It's just every now and then, you know, you have to let people know that, hey, if you want to help, if you want to support it, and to kind of get something in return, there are ways to do that. You just got to let everyone know it exists every once in a while. Um, on to the review. So this is the Loaded Taco Fries Burrito from Taco Bell. And there's a lot to this, and I'm just going to try to break this down in a uh, reasonable manner. We'll go from there. So, I'm a little perplexed by the name, quite frankly, because here's, here's all that it includes, number one. Seasoned nacho fries, seasoned beef, nacho cheese sauce, spicy ranch sauce, red strips, lettuce, tomatoes, and shredded cheddar cheese. Um, eight ingredients. It's available at the price of $3, which is rather economical. Um, Taco Bell is known for being that way, so, you know, you can get your cheap eats. Quality not guaranteed, but at least they will be, as I said, cheap eats. Going with some Baja Blast to keep things cool today. And I will say it's doing a, a, a sufficient job of that. So that's what it is. The thing that I'm confused about is, um, you know, you have the blessed nacho fries, which, I mean, they released in 2018, then 19, you know, and they've released them like seven times now at this point in time, but they've become well known as being the nacho fries. I don't know why they call this the loaded taco fries burrito. Um, I don't know if they were just indulging too much in the nacho fries seasoning, and it's just getting the best of them at this point, or uh, if there's some sort of coded message in that name, maybe they're just, I don't know, maybe it just sounded better than Loaded Nacho Fries Burrito, but it's just named what it's named, I guess, and that's all that there is to it. This is what it looks like. Um, you can definitely see decent sized burrito, definitely some weight to it, and if you do look at the review bra head size to burrito comparison, uh, you can see that it is decent um, sized. Likewise, the lapel to burrito comparison also shows that this is a, um, a decent sized item. And uh, again, it looks like there is an awful lot to it. So what I'm going to do this time around is I'm going to cut it in half, 
And um, we're really just going to dive right into the center. Again, there's a lot of ingredients here. So we'll just see what we get, right? Kind of go from there. And here is the cross section. At first, I wasn't really seeing much taco meat, and I thought to myself, oh no, I got the wrong thing, didn't I? But those are just a nacho fries in there, so I'm using this dirty knife, you know, from all this stuff as a pointer, right? That is a nacho fry in the wild. That's some of the cheese. Looks like that's a tomato right there. Lettuce, the uh, beef, a little bit of everything else mixed in. Now, that said, there's a lot to it. Let's just try it out. The uh, Taco Bell Loaded Taco Fries Burrito going in. See, that's why I established at the beginning of the video that there might be some construction going on, and that's why, you know, I could just pause the camera, it's no big deal, and, uh, besides, the world doesn't revolve around me, they gotta do their work, and, uh, I completely get it. So in the meantime, and that kinda happened at the best possible time anyway, uh, I, I had that one half of the, um, loaded taco fries burrito, and here's what I'm thinking right now. Uh, I'm thinking about ice cubes. Maybe they were like a dominant life form at one point in time and uh, Maybe we just don't know right. That's a possibility anyway. I wouldn't say a likelihood or an inevitability, but Maybe these guys floating around in there. There's more to them than you'd think right on to the burrito though It's interesting It's not bad It's not gross But there's definitely some prevailing ingredients here and I'll try to keep this this relatively quick. This is an item with eight ingredients. Obviously, there's a lot going on. There's a lot to digest, a lot to try to discern. But some of these ingredients are definitely more potent than others. Um, for instance, you have the nacho fries, the beef, the nacho cheese, the spicy ranch, the red strips, the lettuce, tomatoes, and shredded cheddar cheese. Of those ingredients, here's what I was able to notice for the most part. Number one, the first thing that I notice are the nacho fries. Um, one thing, though, that you're going to notice right away as you take a bite into this burrito, though, is that the nacho fries, at least from what I can tell, you can't taste the nacho seasoning on them. More or less, they're just, you know, warm, but soggy potato chunks. And that's all that you're going to notice there. Um, just a consistency in the flavor of the potato itself, but absolutely no discernible quality of, oh yeah, this is a nacho fry. They're just going to be like, okay, this is a piece of potato in here. As a matter of fact, as you can see once again from this cross-section, you could see those are the prevailing ingredients. Um, nacho fry, nacho fry, nacho fry, nacho fry, nacho fry, all these nacho fries. So if I were to bite in right there, it would be a mouthful of nacho fries. The other thing that I could also discern is that there's not a lot of beef in this. And that's a shame, but you could see right there, there's the seasoned beef lurking, maybe a tiny bit right there. But in this entire section of it, you don't really notice any seasoned beef. Um, which is a shame. One problem that I've had with Taco Bell a lot lately, and this is just an ongoing thing, and a lot of other people have this issue as well, is the seasoned beef or lack thereof. If you're going to get a burrito, you do want it to have some nice beef in it, a good portion of it, and um, to bite in and have a mouthful of potato and relatively little beef is uh, a shame, and that's something that I definitely wish that I could taste more of and uh, was looking forward to. One thing that I could really taste when I bite into this and I try it out is the spicy ranch sauce. Um, even though it is not overtly mentioned in the name of this item, you can really notice that this is a spicy burrito. So you bite in, what I really notice are the potatoes, their consistency, the lack of the nacho seasoning, but I really notice how spicy this is. That spicy ranch sauce is prevailing in every single bite. Um, 
and it lingers. You have this lingering spice. Definitely took a few sips of the Baja Blast in the meantime, but that spicy ranch, it does, it does pack a punch. And um, like I said, even though this is not necessarily advertised as being a spicy item, it 100% is. And you're gonna feel that spice. It's prevalent, like I said, in every bite, and it lingers as a spicy aftertaste, likewise. The red strips serve no purpose whatsoever. I don't even think they, they should even be there, quite frankly, um, because they do nothing. They, they're soggy, they offer no sort of crunch whatsoever, nor do they offer any flavor of their own. Um, the lettuce, likewise, it's just something that's there, and that's all that there is to it, as is the shredded cheddar cheese. Definitely that nacho cheese sauce is what contributes um, to any cheesiness in the burrito. The tomatoes, though, are nice. They're a nice touch, they're refreshed, they're juicy, and um, those really stand out, and they offer a nice balance compared, again, to just, you know, maybe the potato and just the cheesiness from the nacho fries, and it adds a little bit of a cooling factor to the spice in this burrito. In short, it's not bad, it's not messy, I can't complain, um, but I do have... Well, I should take that back in terms of can't complain. By that I mean, it's not something that I hate. It's not something that I detest or abhor. It is just something that... It's like, yeah, all right. I mean, I'll eat it. I'll eat the other half. But certainly there are things that I wish could be improved here. There's a lot to it, and certain ingredients you'll be able to taste more than others. Like I said, I like the spice, good amount of it. But here's the things that I wish um, could be improved here. I wish I could taste that nacho seasoning on the nacho fries, and I wish there was more beef in this as well. I think even if those two um, things were increased and improved upon, and maybe the red strips and the uh, shredded cheddar cheese were just removed entirely, um, I think that would really bring it up to the next level there. But all in all, still, it's not bad. It's just one of those things that it's like, yeah, it's all right. I mean, it's just there's definitely some things, yeah, I would change this and change that about it. But in the end, I don't hate it either. Um, so as a result, I think this item ideally is about a, a 6 out of 10. Eh, a tiny bit above average, because again, I'll eat it. I can't complain. It still tastes good overall, and I like the spice that it has to offer. Um, but definitely there's a couple things that, if improved, will bring it up to that next level. So, kind of rushed through that, but again, I'm kind of a battle against time, like I said. And maybe the weather, I think that's a little clap of thunder right there. So... I think everything wrapped up at uh, really the right time. It's at a good price, too, $3, so uh, that's all there really is to it. All right, thank you for tuning in to today's review. I'm your host, The Report of the Week, and today we tried out the Taco Bell Loaded Taco Fries Burrito. Until next time, take care.